it's tough against that team too on a back to back and shorthanded. It was a tough game. So, you know, the fact that we, we did what we did and had chances, I'm proud of us. It was a fight to the finish on Monday night between the Boston Celtics and the Toronto Raptors. The Celtics entered this matchup shorthanded as they were down Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Al Horford, and Rob Williams, but they were able to still send the game into overtime. However, a last second foul by Aaron Neesmith sent Gary Trent Jr. to the line for two, and the Raptors were able to pull away with a 115-2-112 victory. Now, despite the loss, the team was still pleased with the way that they were able to battle and also possess the next man up mentality. So I said to the group, uh, you know, hell of a job fighting, second night of back-to-back -back shorthanded. Um, but there were a lot of things we left on the table, you know, kind of shot ourselves in the foot. Uh, loved the fight, loved the effort. Uh, you know, we, we had our chances and, you know, gave the group props for that. But, um, you know, the main things I looked at was the areas that they're really good at and they hurt us with the offensive rebounds, the turnovers. Obviously, we wanted to win, but we understand we were shorthanded. We played last night, we traveled, came here, called guys up. You know, they, they don't know what we've been doing all year. You know, they got here and there uh, little schemes that we know, but, you know, to, to, to have that full playbook like, you know, everybody who's, who's been here does. It's tough against that team, too, on a back-to-back -back and shorthanded. It was a tough game. So, you know, the fact that we, we did what we did and had chances, I'm proud of us. Rob has a huge impact on, on both sides of the floor. Um, I mean, he can't really replace what he does. I mean, he's, he's unique in, in, that, in that aspect, but, I mean, we got Tice and Al and Grant and a bunch of people that can step up and um, do what we need them to do to, to help us win games. So, um, just gotta have that next man up mentality. Up next, the Celtics head back to Boston for a three-game homestand that begins on Wednesday night when they host the Miami Heat. Closing out for Celtics.com, I'm Amanda Flugrad.